I'm recording all this to different cameras. It's crazy. And that this was on. meeting is being recorded. Oh my God, I don't have the introduction. So anyway, I'll do it by. We are the Spiritual Neighborhood Lunch Bunch. We are a community project of the Council of Families for Children, and we believe in holistic healing. That's all I'm going to say today. Elizabeth is out sick. She's not doing the holistic healing process. Bad girl, Elizabeth. What can I say? We have today Kim Hollinshead. She is our step-in guest because Audra went on vacation and didn't take me. How rude. Yeah, Audra. We were really... She, should, she said it was a girl's uh, vacation, and I said, where's my invitation? Yeah, I guess we're not yeah. girls. We're, we're, we're okay boomers. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in a boomer, you're no longer a girl. So, I want to tell you a little bit about Kim. Uh, she's been a corporate recruiter with some of the biggest technology companies in the world. She's passionate about helping people. And when she's not helping folks find their great career move, she's educating folks like us about CBD. So in 2019, she joined forces with an organization concentrating on CBD and hemp-based products. Now she can help people on a multitude of levels, and she does it with pure joy and excitement. So thank you for being here today, Kim. Yes, Thanks thank for you. having me. And I'm sorry, Kim, but we're supposed to wear hats. Oh. Well, that's okay. I, I happen to have a hat here, if that's okay. I don't know if you'll be able to see the whole hat, but I got the hat. I, I like hats. I can do this with a hat on. That's a planet. That's not a hat. <laughs> now, have, you been, have you been smoking a little bit of your CBD? <laughs> you know, I, I haven't. I actually had that hat sitting beside me since Cinco de Mayo when Chewy's, the Tex-Mex restaurant founded here in Austin, where I live, um, had a big Cinco de Mayo pick up your food at our restaurant celebration because we couldn't go there yet to go eat. <laughs> I, would, I would fall over wearing that hat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it, is. it does seem a little top heavy in there. <laughs> it's a pretty big hat. All right. So how did you get into CBD and what do you know about it? Just educate us. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of educating to go around, right? right. I, um, first of all, I'm a preacher's kid, so I never <laughs> did all of these other things that other people did. All of my friends in school and high school and college did, but I just, I was the good preacher's kid and didn't do any of that. Um, so last, gosh, it was probably December of 2018, I had started having a lot of knee pain. And in December of 2013, I actually had a hip replacement. So I finally went to my orthopedic surgeon because my knee hurt so bad and I couldn't figure out what it was. And he's like, well, that's arthritis. And he's like, what we could do is we could give you some um, steroids. I'm like, yeah, really not interested in steroids. That just sounds horrible. What else? And he goes, well, I've had a lot of people. And at that point, I had already known a number of friends that were using CBD. And he go, I said, are you going to tell me CBD? He goes, yeah, I have a lot of patients that are getting really good res results from CBD. I'm like, all right, you don't have to tell me, and I know who to go to. <laughs> um, I knew that I didn't want to get it from somebody I didn't know. I knew I didn't want to just order it from some random site. And even, even in early spring of 2019, it was still coming out that CBD was everywhere. And I think at this point, if you drive around your town, wherever you live, there's probably a C CBD vape shop. They usually combine both. And I don't know about you, but I still have the stigma about going into one of those. I think that I feel a little awkward. But again, also at this point, CBD is everywhere. You can buy it at the gas station. We were talking about some of the other companies out there that sell it that you would never think had CBD, but now have CBD. Avon so, has it. Avon. Yeah. 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 A ton of companies. And a ton of companies have products that have CBD in it. So when I found, when I found this one, even before I started taking it, I mentioned that I knew some friends. So I was meeting with a friend of mine one night and she was in the process and I have dogs that will continue to bark. Sorry. Um, this is what, what life is like working from home, right? All right. the things. We're all used to it. I didn't I even have, notice them. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a friend who personally she was in the middle of adopting, foster to adopting her second child. And this child was just having a lot of issues, a lot of emotional issues, a lot of things coming up. He wasn't paying attention. He, he just wasn't doing good. 
And it wasn't that I saw her child. I saw my friend completely suffering. This friend that was really happy-go-lucky and super, super kind and joyous all the time seriously looked like the world had just fallen and crushed her shoulders. And I'm like, have you thought about looking at CBD? And she goes, well, I've looked at some essential oils and I've looked at CBD and I just don't know the difference. And I think at that point, even again, spring of 2019, a lot of us were hearing about some different essential oils that may have had some of the constituency that CBD is. And so she looked at both of them. She talked to a mutual friend of ours. And then I didn't realize that she started CBD. I did notice within a month, the next time I saw her, she looked like her old self. Everything had lifted. And so what she was finding is that her child was doing better in school. He was paying better attention. His emotions were getting better under control. And and at that point, this is before I decided I tried out for my knee. I'm like, good for her. I don't know why I need CBD. I don't have I don't have. I don't have emotional issues. I don't have mental issues that I think, I don't feel like I'm anxious or stressed out. I think we're all stressed out. I just think, I don't think I'm stressed out. I think I'm stressed out. (laughs) Honey, honey, you're talking really fast. You might be stressed. (laughs) (laughs) And it's crazy because I'm a seventh generation Texan. I should talk slower, right? Right. (laughs) So I... I was super excited for her, but again, I hadn't thought about it for me until my orthopedic surgeon recommended I try it. And when I tried it, the things that I noticed first, and they weren't things that I was necessarily gonna try CBD for. One, I think I sleep pretty well. Anybody that's ever gone on a road trip with with me knows that, Kim, are you really asleep that fast? Like you lay down and you're asleep. Mm -hmm. You're not snoring, but you can tell you're, I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's the purpose, right? I'm going to bed. I'm going to sleep. That's that's what we're doing. So I don't think I have sleep problems, but I noticed within the first two days, I felt like I slept well. I slept soundly. I slept getting up. I felt rested. So those were really the first things that I noticed. And again, that wasn't something that I was looking for with CBD. But then within the next week, week and a half, I didn't have any pain. And that was, that was March of 2019. And I haven't had any pain in my knee. I now take CBD twice a day. I haven't increased the dosage. We have several different dosage in the line that we carry. We have a 500 milligram, a 750 milligram and a 1500 milligram. I'm still taking the 500 milligram. This is the part that's confusing. Well, CBD, the the history of CBD recently, in December of 2018, the federal government passed a bill that allowed for CBD to be sold federally across the United States, as long as the THC level was below 0.3%. As long as it's there, it's legal. Anything above that is not legal. So that's again, where I kind of talk about making sure when you're looking at CBD, that you're looking at a reputable company. There is a constituency that was founded called the Hemp Authority. So the company that I work with, when when the Hemp Authority started giving out certifications to organizations, not only is the company that I represent part of that certification, had received that certification, but also the farm that we received our hemp from. So both both our company was doing the right things and our farm was doing the right things. And initially we were one of the first 13 to receive a certification from the U S hemp authority. So and there's a ton of, different. let me yeah. interrupt you. Are you saying yeah. hip H I P or hemp H E M P H E M P. Yeah. That's a great, that's a great call out. So <laughs> hemp like the plant, like the plant. So, so at, so again, we were one of the first 13 companies and we also were working with a farm that, had one of those 13. If you go to Hemp Authority and Google that right now, you'll see they've added a ton of companies. So it's not that they're trying to exclude companies, but they want to make sure they're doing the right things. It's a form of licensing, just like any other uh, type of career. So just real briefly, the difference between hemp, CBD, THC, and pot. Ganja. I like ganja. Totally. The word ganja. <laughs> totally. Well, and that's and that's the thing. Most people, when they start hearing that I'm talking about CBD oils, they think that I'm talking about pot oil, right? Because right. that's we think hemp and pot are the same. This is where it gets really interesting. So there's the cannabis plant, right? So we've heard of cannabis, maybe. Mm-hmm. So there's the cannabis plant, and below the cannabis plant, there's there are hemp plants and there are marijuana plants. They actually look different. 
One is small and bushy, one is really tall and lanky. The hemp plant is really tall and lanky. And so the, if you think about it, it's just like if you have the citrus family. So the citrus family, you have lemons and limes and oranges. Oh, that's a and great way to explain it. it. Yeah, good. Yeah, it, it, it completely makes sense when you think about it that way. Yep. So marijuana is higher in THC and lower in CBD. CBD is the opposite, or hemp. Hemp is higher in CBD and lower in THC. So if you were to smoke hemp, you would have to smoke a heck of a whole lot to get high. We're talking about maybe an acre or two. Oh. So you're not able, your body's not going to be able to process that. No. Whereas marijuana, if you smoke marijuana, you're getting high because the THC is the psychoactive property. I don't get so high on lot. pot. Why is that? I tried it in Washington. It, it, it could just be, it could be just be your physiological makeup. Yeah, your genetic makeup. Yeah, and honestly, and honestly, this is where this is where I, I'm not a pot educator. I'm a CBD educator, so I don't know a lot about why you would or wouldn't. But my initial thought is your physiological makeup. But I do well maybe, with CBD for pain. So go figure. But well, and that's and that's right because one of the things that we didn't realize we all realize we have a respiratory system, we have an endocrine system, right? Did you know that you have an endocannabinoid system? What is an what? endocannabinoid what? What? system? Yeah, what is an endocannabinoid system? I do so, not. Don't talk dirty to me. <laughs> <laughs> so when so when you start ingesting CBD into your body, which we were before it was prohibited in the 1920s. Yes. We yeah. were taking him. Um, when we start things. ingesting it, we did, we again we didn't know what was happening in our body back then physiologically but in the 1990s 1990 they started coming out and and I can I can give you guys links that you can put up on your site to all kinds of medical journals that started testing out and trying to figure out what was hemp doing inside of the body well basically it's it's turning on the receptors in our endocannabinoid system we had them and again before CBD hemp Marijuana, all of it was really prohibited during prohibition, just with alcohol. All of those things were being fed to our fed to our cattle, fed to our chickens. We were growing hemp. I mean, hemp, hemp was part of the paper that the um, founding documents of the U.S. was was written on. We were trading hemp um, during the wars. They were using hemp to build ropes. So hemp, the plant has been useful for so many things, for so many things, for so many decades. But it became illegal during prohibition. And then Big Pharma started mm. feeding us pills and medicines. Right. And why would we want to get rid of pills and medicines to trade that in for a nice green plant that God created, right? I mean, that's crazy. So... So in the 1990s, when they found the endocannabinoid system, that's when all of these resources and research came about. And we started learning more about what hemp could do to our physical human bodies. Um, one of the one of the things that I tell people about all the time, all the time is a documentary. It's on Netflix. I know Netflix is a little bit of a crazy place to be right now. But Netflix has a documentary called Weed the People. Huh? Weed, like you're smoking weed, the people. And it really talks about the history of CBD and hemp. And I was blown away. There's another, and I don't know the exact title of it. There's another really good YouTube video. It's black and white. And it talks about how we were utilizing hemp. So all of those things were fascinating to me. And again, once that I found that it was working well for me, I know that it works great for my dog. So we have a, we have a couple products that are dog related. We have treats and then we have a CBD oil. I have a dog that we live, like I said, we live in the Austin area. We live not too far away from Dell Diamond, which is the um, baseball league that rolls up to the Houston Astros. We have fireworks every Friday night home game. Oh, wow. I don't know what's going on now during Corona and pandemic and all. I don't think we've heard nearly as many fireworks. I hate that. But he's used to fireworks. But if he senses rain is about to happen, and I'm talking not like torrential, just barely, he knows it and he starts shaking. And he thinks that maybe the rain brings the, the thunder and the lightning, right? Not always. Sometimes it's just sprinkles. It's not that big of a deal, dog. 
So if I give him some of our CBD oil and our treats, I can see him calming down. And I'm not saying he's still not shaking, but you can see him a little bit better and okay, a little bit better with his surroundings. And we're talking about like, this is one of the treats. So this is a quarter. So it's about the size of vanilla wafer or the oil just in a droplet. And then I just put it on his tongue. So, and he's fine. So I want one of the treats. Those look yummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the treats are probably yummy for the dog, and the dog oil is, is a lower dose. It's, it's 250 milligrams, and it's scented and flavored like bacon. But yeah, bacon. I, I, yeah, but I don't think it's like the human bacon. It smells. It does not. I wouldn't take that. <laughs> it smells gross. How can bacon be bad? Somebody's not doing it right. How, no. how do you know how much to take, though? I mean. How do you know how much you need? I mean, that's well, what scares a lot of people, I think. It does. And that's one of the things that's really tough to understand. And if you think about it, it's not just CBD. Any supplement, any supplement you get at the grocery store, you get at the drugstore is not FDA re- regulated. Supp- supplements are not, right? So one, your doctors, most doctors don't even know what to tell you. They're going to say, well, it looks natural. Okay. I don't know that it's going to do anything. Or doctors are going to say, oh, I highly think you're going to, you should do something. I know people who have diabetes that their blood sugars dropped. Um, I know people with high blood pressure that their blood, that their blood pressure is better. The only way that we can kind of explain how to take it. And this happened with me. People kept saying, you'll have to find your sweet spot. I'm like, what the heck is a sweet spot? So there's all kinds of different calculations and formulations on you weigh this much, you're this age. I just go start off really slow and consistent. And consistency is the biggest deal. Regardless of what what brand, what type you take, you need to take it consistently. So some people try and take it just for pain. Like my knee hurts today, I'm going to take it. Well, it's not doing as much for your body that way. You're not putting it into your system and getting it into your system. Like we talked about turning on those receptors. So you need to start getting into the system. What we recommend is starting off with two to three drops in the morning, two to three drops at night for a week. And then the next week you add three to four drops in the morning, three to four drops at night the next week. And then every week you add another drop or two. For me, and at the time when I started, I was working outside of the home in an office and I had bumped up, I was taking 500 milligrams. I think I had d- bumped up to five to six drops in the morning and about the same at night. And I just felt, I didn't feel 100% right. I didn't feel 100% on. I didn't feel high. You're not going to feel high. You're not going to feel stoned. I was just a little groggy and I didn't like that. So I breathed it down. So in the morning, I went to two to three drops in the morning and five to six drops at night. I can be groggy all night long. <laughs> But I need to be on it during the day. Right. So, And that was just the right amount for me. But there have been times in um, 2019 also, in May of 2019, I was the chair for the Daughters of the Republic of Texas annual convention. That's 600 women. 600 women. And if you know anything about genealogical organizations... <laughs> They are not always the youngest chickens, and they are not always the most technological. So (laughs) during the week or two prior, after I had even tried to move the convention to an online registration format, still have a lot of paper copies, and I still have a lot of written checks that ladies would send me, which is fine. Um, I'm hearing uh, hearing OK Boomer in this conversation. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I I just turned 53, so I am not that young chicken, but I've worked for technology companies for 20 years. I like to push buttons, and I'm not afraid of them, so (laughs) So, so I upped my dosage to a full dropper in the morning and a full dropper at night. It didn't keep me groggy. It kept me from freaking out during the convention. I didn't cry once, and I should have. There were times I'm like, how am I not crying? Like, this is crazy. So I, I feel like for me, and you'll hear this from a lot of people that take CBD, it helps even you out. It helps calm things down. Well, let me support you on your story on this, because what you're talking about is really scientifically proven. It's the same with medication for any type of mental health issue. I'm not going to speak on physical issues because I'm not as learned about that. But like uh, with the Council of Families, which is our our company that our nonprofit that supports this show, we educate our families and 
a lot of the families that come to us will say, well, you know, I'm having problems with my kid. And one of the first things we ask them, do you give them their meds consistently, not only the same time each day, but also Monday through Sunday? Because yes. a lot of parents think that they're giving their kids a break by letting them not go off their meds on the weekend. And it throws those neurotransmitters out of whack. It throws their chemical basis out of whack. And it's like starting over from scratch, just missing yeah. the two days. You know? Yeah. You're, you're not saving money and you're not helping your kid. No. And now and because medications reach a certain level and you have to keep it at that level to be successful. Yeah. yeah. You do. So you're, yeah. everything you're t telling me makes such scientific sense. And my, let me just shout out real quick to my daughter. Caitlin, did you hear her? Yes, we're programmed to have this in our body. <laughs> She'll love hearing that. She's been telling me that. We are. Years. We are. And, and, you know, the thing is, is, again, this is a green plant that God created. This is not something chemically that some chemist created. And I'm not saying the chemists or the biologists are bad. But this is a green plant that has been available for, to us for thousands of years, right? Mm -hmm. This isn't something wacky, crazy. So are we and doing that, drops? Are we doing lotions? What are we doing? And how do we get this into our system? Do we have to do thing, enemas? Well, yeah. I mean, what, what do we do? <laughs> yeah. The thing that I recommend for somebody starting out, and, it, and, and uh, I work with people, a lot of times I work with people based on price point, right? Because you can find CBD out there that's crazy expensive. It shouldn't be crazy expensive. It should be affordable so everybody can use it, right? Right. So I always recommend if you can only get one product, then get an oil. And, it, and the oils are almost always, I haven't heard of any that's not a sublingual oil. So you take the drops under your tongue. Um and again, I always recommend people starting off with 500 milligram. If they have some really chronic conditions, then I will talk to them about their chronic issues and we may go up. But you can always increase your dosage, um, even if you're not taking a higher milligram. So, so yeah, so drops under your tongue. The other thing that's really interesting, like this is the oil. And I don't know if you can see it, but yes. it's green, right? Yes. That makes sense. It's a green plant. There are some oils that I've seen in my sweet husband when we were starting to talk about this and he was starting to think, you're the preacher's daughter. You're crazy, right? Uh -huh. and um, and I, I, we grew up together, so we never thought that I would be the one pushing CBD or wearing hemp leaves on my clothes. Um, but there, <laughs> he did get, he, he was very sweet and he got me a product off Amazon and it was clear. Right. The plant's not clear. No. What did they do to the what did they do to make it clear? They filtered it. Well, you they know, and, and you said something though it. that make that made me think of this. Really, the C B D oil is nothing more than an essential oil. It's the essential oil of the hemp plant. So it is an yep. essential oil. It is. And and Two, one of the things you'll look for when you're looking at hemp products is look at their ingredients. So all of ours are made with a whole plant. So the carrier oil is also hemp oil because it also oh. needs the carrier oil. And you get that from essential oils. So this one in particular, and this is where I should probably get my glasses, right? Pressed hemp seed oil, CBD rich whole hemp extract and this one is peppermint so nat natural peppermint flavor Ooh, yeah so so again you feel just like good anything and it freshens you your breath <laughs> <laughs> well and this one this one is orange orange sunshine we also have we have seven flavors in our line so it, it's fun to mix and match but the interesting thing is is that i always recommend people looking at the ingredients of what they're about to take even if you buy your cbd at a gas station <laughs> look at the look at the label look at look right. and see what's in it um again i went with our company because we also have this handy dandy little cb um qr code so you can scan that and go to third-party testing to see exactly what was in the batch that was in your bottle wow so there's a lot of there's a lot of extra steps that they've put into place that they didn't have to put into place Again, we're not regulated by the FDA. They didn't have to do these things, but it makes me feel a little bit better because one of the other things that happens with hemp plants, the hemp plant is a bioaccumulator. And what so does that farmers, mean? Farmers would plant hemp plants to clean out the soil. Oh. So if you had a landfill 
and you want to clean out the landfill. Now, landfill is a big, gigantic, dramatic explanation, right? But you could put hemp and grow hemp, and that hemp will pull out all of the drywall and metals and toxins out of that. So if you don't know where your CBD is getting their hemp from and their plants from, you could be putting harmful things into your body thinking, oh, I'm on CBD from the vape stoner shop down the street, right? Wow. So you have to be really careful about what you're putting into your body. It's not, and it's not just a matter of is it green or is it clear? Because sometimes, and we, we have some friends that have bought bottles just to see what it's like and it's clumpy. Like, what is in there? Why would I put that in my body? And, and two, if it's clear, they most likely have used an extraction process that uses ethanol and other, other, other all um, methods. And I think when I think ethanol, I think, why would I put gasoline down my mouth? But I've also tried before I was doing a lot of CBD, I've also tried allergy drops. Hello, I live in Texas. I live in Austin, Texas. I need allergy drops, right? My husband, when he went to the grocery store to pick up these allergy drops for me, didn't realize one was processed with using alcohols and alcohol, and the other was non-alcohol. I literally felt like I was taking a gas, gas, gas pump and just putting it up to my mouth. It's horrible. It helped with the allergies, but my God. So ours is processed with a CO2 extraction, which means they take the hemp plant, they extract all of the um, CO2 out of, well, they use a CO2 process to extract all the moisture out of it. It's quickly sealed. So it's fresh from harvest to in the bottle. So, so, there, so there's some things that I would look for. I had a friend of mine recently and she's never bought a single product from, from me, but she knows that I sell it. And I'm happy to talk to people about other products as much as I can. And my question to her was, she goes, is this product, and it's it's not this one, it was a gummy product that somebody had given her. She goes, is this a good brand? I'm like, oh, I don't sell it. <laughs> I don't know anything about your brand. But I said, can you take a picture of the front of the bottle and the back of the bottle? There was nothing in it that had ingredients. There were, I have no idea what How was in How can there. you sell it's that it. if it's not listed? There's no, there's no regulatory authority. Oh, my gosh. So what, is that crazy? what products do y'all actually have? you got the drops and you have seven flavors. See, I was listening. Now, yeah. I have a question. Is there a bourbon flavor? Uh, no. Because I, I do <laughs> however, love my bourbon. However, there is watermelon mint, and a lot of people were like thinking, oh, mojito. Ah, I like that. I mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I'm friends with with people at Tito's Vodka here in town, and maybe I should ask them. <laughs> yes, yes, because, you know, some of us like to combine all of our healthy things in one drink. Bourbon is very healthy for you. I just posted an article about this. It cleanses your toxins. It helps with your digestion. It helps with sleep. We're not talking about getting drop dead drunk. We're talking yeah, about yeah. one, two drinks a day. It's healthier than wine. Wow. And we hear how good wine is all the time for your heart health and things like that. Yes. Yes. I I don't see why you couldn't take. So one of our flavors is natural. If you can imagine when you take that one, you might think you're drinking grass. Um, So with that one, it might not have enough extra flavoring in it because it just has two ingredients in it. It might work to add a couple drops to bourbon. I haven't heard anybody doing that. I haven't heard anybody not. I'll just do a bourbon chaser. I'll just do my drops, do a bourbon chaser best of both worlds <laughs> I do I do have some recipes that I'm happy to share with y'all I have a friend that makes CBD brownies all the time oh that's so, yeah. fun that's fun so yeah some of the different products that we have so so we have the sublingual so the oils we have the dog products we have topicals we have topicals for pain so like this one is kind of like icy hot but it's not icy and it's not hot and it doesn't stink um this I use like if I sleep weird and I have an ache in my shoulder, I'll place it on that. If I have something going on with a joint, this is usually what I use for that. Not that kind of what, joint, people. I know what you're thinking. Not that joint. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> awesome. I I know a lot of mommies that didn't do so great on putting sunblock on their kiddos oh, this summer. Yeah. And so they find that the relief really helps take that pain away from that. Um we have two products specifically for your face. We have a Renew, which is a moisturizer. Also, people will use it as a um, primer in front of their makeup. Um, 
and it has emu oil in it as well. And then we also have one that has a um, retinol in it. So that I'd use that one at night. Emu oil gummies. is fabulous. Fabulous. If you've never used it, it is. It is. We have gummies and we immediately think to gummies as a good way for kiddos because kiddos aren't necessarily so great about taking oils under the tongue. That's weird to begin with. One of the things you can do with kiddos is put the drops in their belly button and like put a bandaid over their belly button. So it'll ingest into their system that way. Wow. But just, just like you said, it's a matter of consistency. So you have to figure out what wow. works. Wow. I am down to my last gummy. <laughs> so Aww, it looks good. And specifically our gummies are gluten free. So that's really great because there's a lot of people that have sensitivities to that. The gummies do not have THC. So we have oils with or without THC. The THC part comes in mostly if people are being drug tested and I'm not talking necessarily for their jobs drug tested. If you're on chronic medicines, they may test what kind of things that you're ingesting. And so your doctor may not want you taking THC. So you really have to figure if you are undergoing any kind of drug test, you have to figure out, are they testing for THC or are they testing for CBD? So those are two things. So if they're testing for both, we're probably not going to be able to help you. If they're testing only for THC, then we would give you the THC, the CBD without THC. We have both of those. And I want and to a remind of, everybody that you are an HR consultant, so you know what you're I talking about. I am an about. HR consultant. <laughs> I am. I am. I am mostly, and there's two different ro ro roads in that world, right? I have been an HR manager at certain companies. That is the worst. If you're an HR manager or were an HR manager, bless you for real, because that is just a tough job. I'm mostly a recruiter. So I'm mostly a corporate recruiter. I'm mostly hiring software engineers these days. That's fun. I love giving people jobs. The HR part sucks. Like you have to tell them they're not doing a good job or their job is eliminated. That sucks. <laughs> All right, David Shelton <laughs> says he cannot wait. He wants to know the name of the company. So tell him quickly. Okay. So, the, so the name of the company is My Daily Choice, which sounds weird. So we have, in My Daily Choice, we have several different brands, and one of them is HempWorks. And that's the brand that I work with almost exclusively. So if you go to mydailychoice.com forward slash my name, K.C. Hollinshead. So you should see it on the Zoom. K is in Kim, C for Claire Hollinshead, H-O-L-L-E-N-S-H-E-A-D. And that takes you directly to my website. Um, you can actually... Find me on every single social media platform. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. So if you want to connect with me, LinkedIn, if you want to connect with me on any of those, and if, if you ladies would be kind enough to give them my information, I'm happy to make recommendations. I really, I really, I don't know that I've had very many, if at all, customers just order blankly off my website. I really want to have a conversation and I really want it to be a consultative a consultative call. I'm not going to try and upgrade you. I'm not going to try and sell you things that I don't think you need. I just want to make sure that you're getting the best thing for your specific reason. Okay, so let's um, do an example of a consultation and I'll be the guinea pig. Let's do it. All right, I have chronic sciatic problems and I've done a lot of health, uh, I mean not health, healing modalities that have helped my entire back with the exception of the sciatic issues. And then I also have what they call lippy fat, which causes yep. inflammation in the legs. It's not regular fat. You can't lose it through exercise and stuff like that. So you end up having to do lymphatic massages. It, I've done that for years, but the only way to get rid of this type of fat is to go in and have it surgically removed or through special liposuction. And it is very painful. And it's, it, it's like you have yeah. knots in your legs and stuff. So pain in, and in my lower back and in my legs and inflammation, what would I want to do? So, and um, Luann, I'm going to send you a quick link because we, because we're not FDA regulated, we also have to be very careful about not speaking, me speaking about certain um, medical issues sure. and medical problems. Sure. I just want to so, feel good. Make me feel good. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. So, so what I would say is I would, again, probably start off with a 500 milligram. Okay. And I would recommend you taking that twice a day. I don't know that necessarily I think our relief cream, which is our pain cream, our topical, that I think that's going to give you as quick of a benefit. 
I think I think you could take that in addition. I think you need to get the CBD into your system. Okay. Now, if you talked about you were having some more chronic pains, like some other people do, mine, my pain came from the ache in my knee. But I know certain people that have aches and pains that over the last few years, I think more and more people think that it's a real a real issue. But before it was like you have a fake issue that you have all these aches and pains all the time. Okay. Um, it starts with the letter F. And so many times I typically recommend a 750 for those people. For a 1500 milligrams, I actually only have one customer in the last year and a half that's using the 1500 on a regular basis. Again, I have people that use it for a variety of their health concerns, but I I would almost always recommend, and I think just even what you told me, I would just do the 500 milligram. Well, then and I'm, again, I'm going to do that. And again, that is not, I mean, I could do the whole upsell and give you the, the 500 milligram is $69, the 750 is 89 and the 1500 I don't even know the price of the empty home. So it goes up almost incrementally. I'm not even, like I said, I'm not going to try and sell you something that's too much. Let's try the, the 500. The nice part, I mean, I, I've given you guys enough benefits, I think, of our company. The nice part about our company is we have a 60-day empty bottle, empty container guarantee. Wow, that's so, fabulous. So, and again, you're not necessarily going to get this type of customer service that I give because I give the best customer service. So if you buy it online from somebody random on Amazon, you bought it, that's yours. You could probably do some sort of refund from Amazon type of thing. But I'm going to continue to check in with you within those 60 days to make sure you're seeing the results that you want to see. And if you're not, if you think the 500 isn't doing it, you can feel it sometime, but not enough. Let's bump you up to 750, return it. Let's get to 750. So there's a 60 day empty container guarantee. And I've had two people take it, take me up on that that let's just do it. And they, ha they got refunds really fast. We're also right now shipping, shipping super fast, like crazy fast. All right, Kim, let me I interrupt you real quick. So because I'm getting enough requests, I think that this is important to do. Um, go ahead. And when you get off here, immediately send me a friend request. Yep. I will accept it quickly. And when I accept it, go to my page, go and post your link and say, I was the host uh, or I was, you know, Perfect. on the show today. Here's okay. my link so that Perfect. people can see that because I'm, I'm getting a lot of private messages sent Aww, to me, people good. wanting more information. So, good. yeah. And I think I sent you a friend request, right? So you're good to go. Um, real quick, let me kind of talk about a few of the other products that we have in our lineup before cool. I get lost in this. So, we're talking about CBD sublingual, right? And that's our main product line. In the last, Gosh, I think these came out six months ago. So we also have a line of soft gels. So our soft gels, turn this around. We have CBD plus curcumin, CBD plus melatonin, CBD um, vitality, and there's one more. Um, so the CBD soft gels have CBD in them. I think they all have 25 milligrams of CBD per soft gel. Plus, oh, this one is coffee berry. So this one is for energy. Um, like the CBD plus melatonin. Again, I'm not a difficult sleeper. My husband is. My husband works shift work. And if you know or if you've ever worked shift work, that is not fun. It is not good for your body. Your body is not supposed to do all these crazy things. So my sweet husband, um, as supportive and loving as he is of me, has not thought a lot about this pot oil which he continues to call it, even though I continue to try and educate him, right? He was a smoker for years and years and years. He has not been a smoker for probably the last five years. Any of our products, he's like, mm, smell like, smells like pot, smells like marijuana. I'm like, I don't, I don't get where you're smelling. I, your smeller's off. But he was a smoker, so his smeller may be off. I said, that, would you just try one of these soft gels for me? It doesn't smell. It doesn't stink. I mean, it's... It, there's nothing to it, right? Would you try one of the soft gels for five days of the melatonin and tell me what you think? I mean, it's this tiny little pill, right? He sleeps like a baby. Uh -huh. He is on his he's on his fourth bottle. We have him on auto ship, so it, he never runs out in time. So he's he's good to go. And I'm so impressed because he needs that. He he needs to sleep better or it's not going to function well. There's, there's so many reasons for good sleep, right? So that's a big deal. Um, they also talking about 
I, again, HempWorks is the main product line that I sell from my daily choice, but we're going into essential oils, right? So they came out with an essential oil line in the last, gosh, I think they launched it last September, October. And I was like, mm, I've, I've used a lot of essential oils and I lo love essential oils, but I wasn't so excited about selling hemp and essential oils. Um, and I don't know that they have enough of the documentation that I was comfortable with. And then they came out with documentation this last month. So all of our hemp, our, um, sorry, all of our essential oils, they also now all have a QR code that you can actually see the actual ingredients, what's going into each of those bottles. And then um, two weeks ago, we had our annual convention and they came out with essential oil sprays. And these are only essential oils. There's no alcohol in it. So people that have struggled with fragrances or once I learned about enough about essential oils, why I shouldn't be using fragrances with all these alcohols and things on top of my body, this blew me away. So these essential oils sprays are just essential oils, fractionated coconut oil, botanical scent, which includes bergamot, black currant leaves, birch, patchouli, jasmine, pink berries, oak moss, ambergris, vanilla, and musk. Well, that smells good, I bet. So they're, oh. Yeah, so they're using the coconut oil as a carrier it's instead oil. of the alcohol. Isn't that smart? Yeah. Yes, that that's is. very smart. So, so not only have I been using this for the last week, because it's brand new, not only have I been using this for the last week, but I spray a little bit on my pillow before I go to bed at night. So, uh, so I'm either having abundant dreams or powerful dreams or worthy dreams. And all of them have, all of these have the mantras on them. Like I feel good about myself today. I am powerful today. So I think, I think words speak life. So anything that I can, I can do to empower myself by speaking words of life into my life. And, and I also completely a hundred percent believe in essential oils. I love bergamot. I love vetiver. Yes. I love Lang for all those things that they do for my body. So I, if I can put these on topically, I'm all for it. We also have hair care products. So this is all from my hemp hair care. Um, our hemp hair care is hemp seed oil, cold pressed organic hemp seed oil. It's actually make, made in Israel. So we have two different lines of shampoos and conditioners, a regular line and then more, more moisturizing line. Then we have a serum. So I'm sold. <laughs> well, here's the thing is that everyone should be willing to try these products if they've never tried them and they need help or if they use other products because, I mean, you are your best advertisement. You've been in the virus situation with like the rest of us for eight months and look how peppy she is. She's making me sick. I am, I am like so peppy. I am so peppy. <laughs> I am so peppy. I am so peppy. There's one. Where did I fit? Oh, here we go. So the other thing that we have, and this was the first product that our company came out with even before we did hemp products or CBD products were nutritional sprays. So they just launched these two weeks ago. They rebranded it. They reformulated it. The, um, the device is a little different. So there's sprays that you put into your mouth. This one is called E-Cell and it helps with cellular rejuvenation. This one is called Ultra CZ. And I don't know about you, but it seems like zinc has been a big thing in the news, right? right. So yes. keeping us healthy. And we're going into flu season. I mean, we're, it's not like we're not going to have anything else after COVID, right? Um, and then shield, which helps balance the alkaline in your body. Again, we know if your body is al alkaline balanced, you're probably not going to get sick or as bad, right? So we have a few different things, again, within the entire company. And they've created such a company that allows us to have this house of brands that we can sell a bunch of things. Again, my biggest thing that I use every single one of them daily and and mostly that's where my customer base is the CBD. Just because, again, you can come to me, you can find out exactly what's in my bottle. You, you know that you can get your money back if it's not working for you. And you don't have to worry about anybody seeing you walk into the vape shop at your, you know, little town. <laughs> well, I love, so. I, to me, the biggest selling factor here, along with results, of course, is being able to see where things come from. That's always been my objection. Uh, I've actually have bought products on Amazon when come to find out when I went and did research, didn't even have any CBD in it. Isn't Nada. that crazy? Nada. Isn't that crazy? 
And I guarantee you, it was not easy for you to research that and figure that out. No, but I am a private investigator. I am good at this. So we're going to make this easy for you guys. Kim's going to go friend me, hopefully, and we'll put her uh, links on my page and on the Spiritual Neighborhood page. I am so glad that you were able to make it today, and we'd like to have you maybe come back later on. I would love it. I can't believe this was like almost an hour, 45 minutes long. My goodness gracious, ladies. You did a great (laughs) job, and we really appreciate it. So Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing more, and I will be placing an order myself because I've got to do something. I've got I will happily take it. All right. (laughs) I'll make sure you have all the links and all the information. Thanks so much for having me. Look forward to coming back again. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming at the last minute. Oh, sure. We appreciate it. (laughs) Bye. All right. Bye-bye. I'm going to do this right. All right. Here we go. Oh, she did it for me. Cool. That was fascinating. That really was. Yes. Yes. Um, Good information. I'm going to tell you, I cannot tell you how impressed I am, you know, that you can actually go and see where this stuff was grown and processed. I am also impressed that there was no alcohol in this at all. So um, I can't wait to use uh, it. Well, that's... Yeah, and, and, you know, that's very important. Just like the um, herbs I use, I researched to make sure that they're uh, not, that they're properly grown and uh, harvested. Because like she said, if you put the hemp, it absorbs whatever's in the, in the ground. Right, and your product can only be as good as the quality of the items that you're using. So it just makes right. sense. All right. It's important. I'm going to say adios. We'll be back on <gasps> Monday. Yes, we will. I have to go, I, I have to go powder my nose. That's why I'm cutting us off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took a diuretic today, and that was a mistake to do that before the show. <laughs> yes. Yes, that was. But, you know, we oh, do what we got to. Live and learn. I didn't. I wasn't thinking, so... <laughs> All right, we will see you guys Monday. I don't have time to look to see who our guest is, but we'll post it before Monday. I think Ann's going to be here. Oh, that's right. Ann Manson's going to be back. We always love Ann. Yes. So y'all yes. stay tuned. And we're wishing Elizabeth happy healing. And uh, we will see you guys on Monday. Like you a lot. Oh, I don't like y'all at all today. <laughs> Bye. Bye.